Welcome Ganja Launchers. Thank you for tuning in again to my next video. Today we are in Plymouth, Massachusetts. We took a little trip away from Boston. We're going to check out how America started or how we learned how it started. This is going to be a pilgrim village. It's, uh, I believe, replicas, of course. Uh, they had to course rebuild them and everything but we're gonna check it out and see how they lived back then pilgrims and we're gonna see what we learn what we adventure and what we can find and see there's a cafe over there let's see if we can find something to eat I haven't ate breakfast I'm hungry uh, I need to eat something my mind my uh, vocabulary on this word I gotta figure out something to eat so let's see let's go without further ado got these old buildings over here they're not part of the tour though it says staff only good morning how are you? good how you doing good, thank you. check it out guys amazing visitor center so I already checked in I got my ticket so we're good to go so he said that the first display or the first exhibit is uh, there's a, some kind of video. walked into the video late so I'm actually wondering if you guys know where we're together because I just walked in there I don't know where he said so, 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 I think it's that way okay all right they say it's this way so let's go this way This is it, this is the start. I'm not sure what this is over here. So we're gonna go through the Wam Pan Aj home site. Wam Pan Aj. That's the first part, and then we're gonna continue on over to the craft center, over to the Fort Meeting House, all the way. That's the well, that's the main village right there. And then afterwards we're gonna go to the so uh, he said it's about a 10 minute drive to the next exhibits the main or the Mayflower we're gonna check that out and then also the mill it's a working mill so that should be interesting to see luckily I brought my sunglasses today it's kind of sunny so let's continue on guys right there a lot of people staring like they haven't seen a camera before <laughs> it's kind of funny the gathering circle spend a moment in the gathering circle and meditate 
Um, this is pretty cool. I wish I had this in my backyard. Just gonna sit a moment. I'm gonna hurry up and get to the cafe. I'm gonna try this food. Homestite. So that's gonna be our first visit right here. We're going to the Wam Pan. I hope I'm saying it right, but I'm pretty sure I'm saying it wrong. The Wam Pan Nanj homesite. That's the first exhibit we're gonna check out. It's where the native people lived and where they were here first before the pilgrims came and i think this is it right here we are in the village wow look at these old fences built by just sticks and wood well sticks is wood but amazing i have a little fire pit right here Looks like they're growing some plants right here. Some harvest. Look at the tent. Oh, can we go in here? What animals did they skin? Looks like a fox. A bear, wow. Deer? Maybe? Yeah. Let's see if we can go inside this tent. Check it out. As one of my favorite YouTubers says, let's investigate. Not sure if we're allowed in there, but I'm going to investigate. Not sure if you guys can see this. Oh yeah, it looks like it's coming out pretty good. It's a fire pit right there. Wow. Oh. Can we sit on these benches? I don't know. Wow, they seem pretty sturdy. Oh, wow. I can. They're comfortable, actually. Oh my god, look at that. What's that? We saw a little picture of that. There it goes. Alright buddy, you don't want to be in my film. Ooh. That was cool. Alright. Some more harvest right here. You have a little docking point for your canoe. Oh wow, there's actually a boat over there too. Hmm. Oh, this, I guess this is the boat that we see over there in the water. Let's investigate over here. Hello guys. Hi. What's going on over here? We're doing a machine that would be our traditional words for a canoe. Is that the one that's in the water right now? Yeah, we have a few down in the water that we still use machines. Nice. And this one's about to be in the water, probably within um, the next few days. How long have you been working on it? Uh, here it takes us, we make like one a year. Okay. But mm -hmm. we, they last 10 to 15 years. Yeah. How long has that one been there? That one is about 13 years old. So that one actually came out of the water recently, I think last year or the year before. Okay. So that one is actually pretty old. They last a very long time. And they only take about, the one the size would take about five to seven days to make. So we don't really need to keep on pumping out both. So yeah. that's why I make one a year. You're right. So this one takes us a lot longer. Okay. So you're about to start a fire right there? Yeah, we're trying. It was going, but 
I don't have enough brush bark to keep it going right now, especially because it rained yesterday, so yeah. this is really wet already. Is that why you're trying to start the fire to like clear out the water? Well, I scooped out a lot of the water, but this section right here, if you look down the strip, uh, down the boat, there's a lump right here. Yeah. So we're trying to get that out. Oh yeah, yeah, I see. Once we get the fire about. going, that will be. Able to yeah, I'm gonna just go get a hot pool. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, one more question. How many guys does it take to like do it? Just two. Cause you burned twenty four seven until it was done. <coughs> oh no, I mean like um to actually like roll the boat and like. Oh, roll this boat. Yeah. This one would fit four, but there were some that could fit thirty. Oh what? Mm -hmm. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. You thank could you. also do two in here for fishing purposes if you want to put your gear. But yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Take friend. it easy. Thank you. Very cool. All right. So let's continue in the village. There goes another one right there. And another one. And these are the paddles that they use. Oh, oh. Steady. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to have a second piece to like plant on top of it, but you know, can't be I believe you'll make it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Is this the cafe? <laughs> no. <laughs> How you guys doing? What you guys doing over here? So over there we have cooking the song. All right. It's a um like an oatmeal. What's in the pot? Thing. It's in the porridge. And the ingredients for this one are strawberries or like any berries, um, cornmeal, mm -hmm. flour, mm -hmm. and maple sugar. Maple sugar, yeah, maple sugar. You guys actually eat it or does it go to the cafe? Oh, Can I try that at the cafe? can't feed you this one because we didn't prepare it with hair nets. <laughs> okay. Um, they don't really fit the time, but oh, the thing is, um, <laughs> you can get let me think, let me think, let me think. Because I'm a chef, I wanted to try it. I wanted to critique the food. Overnight <laughs> visitors um, sometimes get a menu that you can eat. The thing is with Nassant, we don't make it exactly the way that we do on the home site in the cafe because of nut allergies. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when we do make it for like guests that maybe like a Girl Scout to boys they sleep over, mm -hmm. then they get it, but it doesn't have the nuts in it. So I never like it. Are you guys going to eat it? I am. Okay. It's just like I'm not quite hungry yet. But it looks good. It is, and I really do like it with the strawberries. The four strawberries are fresh. We're making it with like just dried berries that we have. Okay. Um, the recipe is on the website. Okay, I'll check that out. <laughs> with plantation recipes, yeah. that way I don't send you clicking like give a stratosphere. All right. Okay. Cool. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you for your you. time. Yeah, Thank course. you. Take care. Thank you. You too. Very cool. I wish I can try it, but I can't. We'll have to try to make it someday, maybe. Let's see what's over here. Looks like some more tents. Villages, they have some. Are these arrows? Some bird feathers, those are massive. She has all the decorations, turtle shell. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I have the tail and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. Got some kid toys over here to entertain the kids while they're making their new sop. Hello. Hello, how you doing? And how are you today? Good. I'm doing think? some finger weaving. Finger weaving. I'm weaving a big round drawstring there. How long have you been weaving that for? Um, probably close to 100 hours. Okay. Uh, so, um, <laughs> so a couple of days. Uh, no, we never work more than two or three hours a day. Oh. You know, back then, adults. So a couple months. Yeah. <laughs> um, children and elders weren't expected to work at all, and 
you know, adults only a few hours at the busiest time of the day. It's yeah. a very relaxed lifestyle. And this would be considered work. So when this starts to feel like work to me, I put it away and do something else. <laughs> That's very cool. Mm -hmm. You don't want to put any bad energy or bad medicine into what you're making. Right. Especially if you're making something for people you love. Yeah, I'm a chef, so I'm always so like caring that. about the food and everything. And exactly. people like critique me and like tell me, hey, it's good and everything. It just feels so good. Like yes. Yeah, and if you're, if you're, I'm sure you know, like if you're cooking and you're, you're not in a great mood or whatever. Flex right, yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. no, you got a good vibe about you. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> take it easy. Nice to meet you. Have nice meeting you too. Thank you. Wow, very cool. So it looks like there's one more part in this village over here. Is this the meeting room? I don't know. What's what's back here? I love these, like they have fur on them, and just the fur itself, when you sit on the fur, it kind of, it does, it helps, I'm not gonna lie. It's this, <laughs> new skin, they just found, they just skinned a fox. You guys are in my home. Yeah. <laughs> Come on in. Excuse me. We just needed to use your bathroom. Oh, no problem. Hospitality. Wow, check out all these furs. A little piece of fur or leather. Please watch your head. Wow, there's literally a bunch. Look at all of these furs. This looks like the bag that she was making. Old spoon. Alright. Can't I can't put it back. Came out that way. It came in. Too far apart. I'm actually surprised it's very sunny right now. It's supposed to be um, bad weather. Like the weather people were lying to us the whole time. Staff only. Alright, so I guess that's the end of the Wampanoag tour. Next up we go to the craft center. Artisan. Craft center. Let's check out the craft center and see what they're crafting. Thank you so You're welcome. Much. Hello. Oh, thank you. <laughs> There's a bigger cafe over in the, in the visitor center, but I just got a black coffee and then this is the Indian pudding. I don't know, it kind of looks like what those girls were making out there, but I don't think it is. But this is traditional Indian pudding that the Indians made. Let's see what it tastes like.
we're gonna go on to the last part of this tour it's the actual village and possibly this may be the first fort ever built in um, by Americans at least uh, or by the pilgrims or this may be the first fort in America that was, that was ever built we've already been to two forts and this is our third one check it out guys little detour guys before we go to the fort let's check out this hut so guys like i was saying this may be the very first fort ever built by americans ever first fort we've been to two already it's gonna be a third one Plymouth Plantation History, a work in progress. <laughs> 